Hey everybody, hopefully you are having an amazing day. It's Mike Cheng here in Singapore. Actually, my time in Singapore is about to come to a close. So I've been looking around to see if there's any other all-you-can-eat buffets I haven't been to yet. And I think I found a really interesting one today. This is a Japanese barbecue slash hot pot slash ramen slash sushi buffet. I think. I guess we'll find out in a couple hours. And before heading off, a big shout out and thank you to the sponsor of this video and one of my favorite products, Athletic Rings. I've been telling you guys about Athletic Rings for over a year now, I think. Ever since I first started trying it, I've been taking it every single day, sometimes twice a day. And this has just been my go-to source for all my vitamins, minerals, probiotics. That's because with every single scoop, every single travel pack of AG1, you get 75 vitamins, minerals, probiotics, whole food sourced, superfoods. It's just a really convenient way to stay healthy. Eight to 10 ounces of water, scoop goes in, shake it up, and drink. I do this every single day before I put any food in my stomach. And since taking it, it has helped with my digestion. I have more energy. Like I said, sometimes I take it twice a day because I usually take it before a workout if I'm feeling a little low on energy. And before this, I used to carry around at least half a dozen of different vitamins. And that became super cumbersome and rattly and very expensive. And with AG1, like I said, super convenient. When you get your box, you'll have a pack that you can put into the jar. You'll have travel packs. You'll get a bottle of vitamin D, which I take every single day. Also, AG1 always follows the latest research it goes beyond third-party testing to make sure whatever they're giving you you're getting the highest quality and the best nutritional daily habits on the planet and like i said i'm getting older so i was looking for more ways to stay healthy vitamins i could take good stuff for my gut because of all the stuff i eat this really does give me everything i need also don't have to buy half a dozen bottles of vitamins anymore it's a good financial move as well so if you want to give it a try go to my link down below you'll get a free year supply of vitamin d and five free travel packs with your order this is really a game changer for supporting your immune system System. AG1 really does provide your body with everything it needs for optimal performance every single day. All right, gonna go for a quick run and then buffet time. It's about 30 minutes after they open. They are completely full. Um, the wait is about an hour. Luckily, there's a lot of food items at this mall. I'm gonna come back and do a whole video exploring some of the other food places in this mall. It's really unique. Like this one. I found this ramen shop right next door called Kanadaya, number one ramen brand in London. So their pork broth is cooked for 18 hours. They claim to have the best truffle ramen in the world. Apparently they won a lot of awards. They voted best ramen in Fukuoka Prefecture. They won a couple of ramen festivals. Thank you so much. Wow. Ooh, that smells so truffle-y. Couple of asparagus, truffle sauce on top, beautiful golden eggs, giant pieces of chashu all over, thin, straight, white noodles. I mean, as I'm stirring the truffle, that aroma is intense. This part, first bite of the day, especially when you're getting a dish this aromatic. People ask me what's the hardest part about filming. This is the hardest part. When you gotta film and not be able to take a bite in the few minutes that you're filming, it's still difficult. Ooh, well that is really creamy porky broth. Wow, you can almost cut this with a knife. Super rich, super creamy and thick. You get so much of that nice porky flavor in there. Of course, all that is accented by that awesome earthy truffle flavor too. Mm. Noodles are really good here. Very al dente, very chewy. Mm. I think this is just regular tonkatsu broth with added truffle sauce. The broth is very nice, very much on the richer, porkier side, and a lot of flavor. The truffle works with that beautifully. I knew this was gonna be good. When I shine a spotlight on this, you can see how much fat is in this piece of chasho. Super fatty, very much melting your mouth. Again, it goes great with this whole ensemble of rich porky broth, earthy truffles, and just a ton of flavor. 
This bowl is very unapologetically in your face. Nothing subtle about the flavors here. Nothing subtle about the richness here. I think it's a good bowl of ramen. I mean, that broth is definitely not watered down whatsoever. And I got the spicy version as well here. Giant piece of nori, couple pieces of chashu, chili, strips on top. Same delicious thin, straight noodles. Of course, that very, very rich broth. Wow. Oh, that's a hit right to my throat. You taste the chilies, but also there's some sort of a fermented flavor in this too. I think they might be using fermented chili paste here. So that actually gives off its own deep, rich flavor on top of that nice pork broth. I like this ramen place. I think it's a really good bowl of ramen. Again, I like ramen flavors that are bold and aggressive and rich and thick. And this is pretty much checks all the boxes for me. So before you sit down, they give you a big menu to choose from. The front page is a regular buffet. <laughs> Second page, Kitan buffet. And then your premium Wagyu buffet. To order, they give you a QR code, um, scan and order your food. This, just like most other buffets here in Singapore, there's a time limit. 90 minute is the time limit. Now, I don't know whether it's you have to be out the door in 90 minutes. If that's the case, you only eat for 60 minutes. I'll let you guys know, but right now, placing the order, you can order four things at a time. And of course, it has to be Wagyu. So I'm gonna get a Wagyu steak, double pepper, Wagyu karubi truffle, and shimo furry. And then there's also a buffet bar you can get other stuff at. Oh, this is interesting. It's also all you can eat ramen. I just had ramen, but this looks really good. Oh my goodness, there's also sushi. So you could choose to do the hot pot as well. So basically you either choose the hot pot or the barbecue. Either one comes with the sushi, the ramen. Oh, I can't wait till the Hokkaido ice cream at the end. My meats have been placed. Let's go check out the buffet bar. There's a yakiniku sauce bar. There's fresh wasabi, there's garlic chilies. I like this a lot. On the buffet itself, there's pudding, there's corn butter, milky mushrooms, sauce serve ice cream, there's sodas, teas. There's also a shabu bar for people who got the shabu. Got my first set of meat, got some sushi, I got some ramen. If the buffet's gonna offer ramen, I'm gonna try the ramen. All right. Probably not the best thing to get on the buffet. Egg gooey. We're also okay. That's a soggy noodle though. Start out with the shimofuri steak with garlic. And they give you some um, peppercorn and salt and olive oil too. That's some beautiful marbling on the steak. Spread the garlic out a little bit. And because they are thicker cuts, I'm gonna just go ahead and start grilling all of it. This is called a Wagyu steak. And you can get this with garlic or pepper and throw on some of the pork jaw as well. How marble that is. That is a beautiful tasting steak. That shimo furry will do all sorts of delicious things to your taste buds. A little salt and sesame oil. Oh my gosh. That steak breaks down so well. One bite and the whole thing just falls apart. Mmm. Oh, the wagyu steak is even better. That's just tender upon tender. Pour my pork belly a little bit. Mmm. I would highly recommend grilling up some of that burger for pork pork belly. And it doesn't matter if you toast it a little more than, than it needs, it just brings more char to that awesome juicy fattiness. Mm. This is the thinner karubi, little wasabi on this. Mm. Karubi, 
Definitely not as tender as the Wagyu, but I like the thin cuz of it, so it cooks quicker, and plus it gives you more char. With some garlic and the wasabi, that's an amazing first grilling round. The meat quality is delicious. Different cuts of meat brings different textures, flavors, amount of juiciness. Can't wait to put this on the grill. I think this is gonna be the highlight. And before um, next meats go on the grill, just put in my next order. And Keton Karubi just went on the grill. That ton is so good. That's definitely one of my favorite cuts today. You gotta say, day two, bring out the meats and waters pretty fast here. This tongue, give it a nice little char. Add some wasabi, add some garlic. Mm. Whole thing incredibly marbled. Got that nice snappy texture that tongues usually have. And the whole thing is just so deliciously fatty. Sushi with seared salmon on top. Rice a little thick. That salmon is melting your mouth, delicious. This is the Kintan Karubi, a short rib. That's a good cut too. Normally I don't get chicken at an Ari King barbecue, but this is what they say you should be dipping into the cheese curry. Look at this. It's basically curry barbecue chicken. My 90 minutes is quickly coming upon us. If you do come here, I would recommend focusing all the Wagyu categories and also the Iberico pork. Pork is amazing. I'm trying to order as many orders of that um, in the Wagyu as I can before they, um, they close the ordering system on me. The service here is really quick. I'm glad you can just order everything on an app and it just shows up a couple minutes later. Now I'm gonna shut the camera off and try to speed eat as much as I can before my buffet window closes. Just put in our last order, so I had to get the ice cream now. Hokkaido ice cream. This is really good. I'm a little wafer too. Mm. Usually, ice cream would be the finale of a meal, but just order a bunch more meat and then a futa dome. This is gonna be intermission. Overall, I think it's a pretty good place. A little inconsistent in their cuts. Finally, the dessert is gonna be a putadon. They do have a lot of different things on the menu that you can get on top of the buffet when you get all you can eat option. The ramen is just okay, but it's not a bad putadon. Runny egg, pork belly's nice and thin and tender, crunchy sprouts, put some wasabi on it. It's a pretty good dish. Grab the soft serve to go. So just spend the last few hours walking off the barbecue and the ramen. I've been wanting to try this place for a while. Right now we're at Jerome Point. Well, first let me explain something to those who never been to Singapore. This is what I kind of understand as what happens in Singapore. So Singapore overall is not huge. It takes maybe 20, 25 minutes or less driving to get pretty much anywhere you want to go. By subway or bus, it takes about 30 minutes to an hour, which is really not a far commute at all. Especially when driving from Queens to Manhattan sometimes takes two hours. But Singaporeans don't really travel much outside of where they live or work. So a lot of different shopping centers and a lot of different malls will have the same exact restaurants even if these restaurants are maybe 10 minutes from each other so i see this place everywhere this looks like a dumpling noodle place that has kind of really good looking dishes that seem to be modernized a little bit that's water first dish is noodle fun this is a dish that whenever i see it i gotta order it this is one of my favorite dishes in the world it's so comforting it's so rustic it's so unapologetically fatty and greasy and rich and delicious so this dish pork belly is chopped up, it's braised, it's scooped over hot rice so that the 
fat from the pork belly just melts all over every single grain, creating this velvety coat. It looks and it smells so good. Mm. This is really good here. In a really good bowl of the real fat, most of the fat just, just melts. So you often don't even shoot the fat. The fat just melts before you take your first bite over that hot rice. Mm. Wow, it's so good. You can taste all that great flavor that's been braised into the pork, like the star anise, the cinnamon, the rock sugar, and the rice, like I said, covered in that delicious porky flavor as well. Best bowl of this I've ever had. It's definitely in Taiwan. Mm. The amount of umami in every single bite, in that wonderful gelatinous silky blanket that covers your tongue after, I don't know, the third chew. There's something so simply magical about this dish. And you drink your order with this. For me, it's gotta be some hot tea, and they got this lower tea here. This is really cool. It smells like a rose bush. And it tastes like a flower garden. This tea is so delicious. Perfect with this. Got a vegetable dish too. So it's dry rice noodles as a plate. Different types of mushroom in here. I think there's a trump trumpet mushroom in here. Oyster mushrooms, fried garlic on top. And they put truffle oil, I think, in here as well. The mushrooms smell even more earthy. Mm. This dish is amazing. Unlike the roll fun, very light. Not seasoned heavily at all. You just taste the nice flavor of the fried garlic and then of course the truffle. And if you want, take apart the bowl and eat it. Mm. Next two dishes I got are dumpling dishes. And they got some really unique dumpling fillings here. Like I think one of them was a pumpkin filling. I got a duck dumpling and I got a char siu dumpling. By the way, this is a fried dumpling. This is what the bottom looks like. And I gotta say, these dumplings are giant. Enormous, the heaviest dumpling I've ever lifted with my chopsticks. And it's very dense, the skin is super light. You can see into the filling and it's inside chicken broth. So you're gonna get the dumplings different ways. You can have it in this chicken broth that they give it to you or you can have it fried. That skin is so remarkably thin. Again, it's giant chunk of filling. That's a really good dumpling. Duck, of course, is not a very traditional dumpling filling, but it's super meaty. The fatty flavor is delicious, and all that inside a light bowl of chicken broth. That is so yummy on its own. If you're coming here, get the dumplings and the chicken broth. Well, the chicken broth is so good and soothing. You definitely taste the collagen, too. This is good quality chicken broth. I mean, if I'm ever feeling down or ill, I'm gonna come here and get this chicken broth. They should sell this chicken broth on its own. It's so good. So this is the fried dumpling oh my gosh here we are and the batter forms this crispy edge on the bottom and this is really fun to eat it's like a dumpling chip this skin is super thin here as well it kind of looks like though some of the dough hasn't been cooked I was very suspicious getting this. My instinct whenever I see dumplings is to stick with the traditional flavors, pork and chives, shrimp and eggs, something like that. But I really wanted to try a couple of the new flavors they had on this menu. But I'm thinking like cha siu, like would it make the dumpling too sweet? Just like the chicken soup, I, I didn't think this was gonna be that good. Oh, I am wrong. This is delicious. First of all, the dumplings are super juicy. I think they gave me some sambal and some vinegar. Again, the skin is uber thin. Filling is porky, it's smoky. It's a little sweet, but definitely not overly so. You can definitely taste that less char siu in there. But somehow the balance of the sweetness and the savoriness of the dumpling make it absolutely perfect. This is one of the best fried dumplings I've had anywhere. But overall, their dumplings are really good. The skin is just uniformly super thin. I mean, this dumpling filling is just bursting out of the skin. Mmm. I really like the chicken broth, but I love their fried dumplings. I recommend coming here, ordering the fried dumplings. Let's see if they'll just throw in a bowl of chicken broth. Actually, everything I try is really good. Love the Laurel Farm. The truffle mushroom is delicious. The flower tea is amazing. If you're into tea, or if you're into roses, if you're into things that smell good, get that if you come here. This is a really good meal. This kind of reminds me of like a more economical Ding Tai Fung. I mean, the dumplings are only five to an order, but they're giant dumplings. I mean, this place is definitely not gonna be your typical mom and pop noodle dumpling place. It's definitely not cheap, but the flavors are elegant. The ingredients are good. It's a very delicious, modern taste on traditional Chinese. I like it a lot. All right, I'm gonna get up. I already know what I want for dessert. I see it right now. 
So in Singapore, McDonald's has a new promotion pretty much uh, every couple of months. Last time was the Laksa Burger, and this time is the Ninja and Samurai Burger. So it's Japan themed and Hojicha ice cream. This is so good. I've been looking for this ice cream for a while because like a thing with McDonald's, your saucer machine is always broken. Finally found it. This thing's got a heavy roasted tea flavor, a little bitter. It's probably one of the best soft serves McDonald's ever made. Mm. This is their yuzu cream cheese pie. Oh, it's piping hot. The cream cheese, the yuzu, the flaky crust. Whoa. Cream cheese is delicious. Huge citrusy flavor too. Oh, it's so hot. Crushed is absolutely flaky perfection. The filling is creamy. It's well balanced between the citrus and the cream cheese. Add in some hojicha ice cream. <sighs> that might be one of the best McDonald pie slash ice cream combo in the history of McDonald's pie slash ice cream combos. I don't think I've had a McDonald's pie so pipe and hot before. Again, I can never figure out why McDonald's never bring these things to the U.S. Instead of just sticking with the apple pie for the last however many decades. That's why whenever I'm abroad, when there's a McDonald's special, there's a new flavor of something, I gotta try it. And this has been awesome. And that's it for another wonderful food day here in Singapore. Like I said in the beginning of the video, reaching the end of my trip here, these past few months have just flown by so quickly. I really enjoy my time here. There's so much food. It's easy to get around. It's a fun place to be. Singapore is one of those countries where the full Focus is definitely food. So it's one of the best places to go. If you're one of those people that when you travel, all you care about is where you're gonna eat, you'll love Singapore. As always, all places I went to listen down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.